Russia should be offered nothing it's taken from Ukraine if and when it comes to peace negotiations. Strong words from Estonia's Prime Minister Kaya Kalas, who is responding to Emmanuel Macron's suggestion that the West should consider how to address Russia's demand for security guarantees. Ukrainian officials have since rejected the French president's idea of Kalas telling Euronews that imperialistic dreams cannot be made to pay. The uh, message that we have to say out loud and clear is that aggression cannot pay off. If you attack a sovereign country, then you are not leaving with more uh, territories or more um, uh, resources, but you are punished for this because we have agreed in the international rules-based order that it's illegal to act, attack another country. So uh, I wouldn't offer uh, Russia anything. I wouldn't worry about Russia right now. I would worry about Ukraine uh, surviving and also uh, Russia can always go back to their borders. The Estonian leader was speaking during a summit of leaders from both the EU and Western Balkan countries in Albania on Tuesday. And she says the war in Ukraine has only served to bring the two sides closer together. It changed uh, uh, the way we, we look at things and I think it also made us more united also with the Western Balkan countries uh, because uh, it brought up uh, uh, that the European values uh, that we share are uh, the ones that are at stake in Ukraine and Ukraine uh, or Russia attacked Ukraine because uh, it's uh, uh, European aspirations. So, so it is not in the interest of the European Union to let the different countries uh, slip away. Kallis also told Euronews that it's in the EU's interest that the Western Balkans were to eventually join the bloc in the near future. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.